Okay, this is uh, just a little sample screen I've got here uh, to show you how to do the corner detail on the velvet. This is the side of the screen, this is the bottom of the screen. So we're going to start by putting the velvet on the side. So we're going to take a piece of the velvet and we're going to lay it face down. The black, the darker fuzzy side is the face. We're going to lay that down, we're going to lay it uh, about two and a half or two and three quarter inches up here, just a little above the spline. Then we're going to take a piece of the tack strip and we're going to lay that along here and that's where we use this block just as a measuring gauge and we're going to take and we're going to put the top edge of this cardboard right even with that block and that puts it exactly even with the top of the frame and then we're going to staple this in. I'm not actually going to staple it because I may want to reuse this but if I was willing I would go ahead and staple this, staple this, move the block down adjust the cardboard, staple, working all the way up the side of the screen, same at the other end. You'll notice I left the velvet back a couple of inches here from the end. As long as it goes down to about the spline, you're fine because this is going to be covered up by the bottom piece. So now I've got this stapled on, I simply just wrap this velvet around, and then if I had this all stapled in place, this would be a little easier to do, um, but this is going to wrap around to the back side and then it can be stapled on the back side. I'd, flip the, I'd carefully flip the screen up and, and put staples on the back side, just keeping everything nice and smooth and pulled taut. Okay? So that's the side. Now I'm going to do the bottom, which is pretty similar. I'm going to take, lay the velvet, again face down. But this, in this, for the, uh, the bottom, note that I'm letting the velvet run uh, a couple of inches long here. Then I'm going to take, lay my tack strip down here, use my gauge block again, staple, gauge, adjust, work this, staple, working all the way down, put staples every oh, three or four inches will be fine. Okay, once I have this on, then I'm going to take, simply wrap this around, that just came untucked there, don't pay any attention to that. Um, because it's not staple. If it was staple, it would hold in place. Okay, I'm going to wrap this around. The, uh, the staple down tack strip forms a nice tight solid, or forms a nice straight edge. Okay, at this point, again this would get tucked around on the back, and then the end here you just kind of fold up like you would a Christmas present. Make sure that seam is nice and straight. Goes under, goes under, and then just do kind of a a uh, Christmas present style wrap on the edge there and keep everything pulled down tonight tight and staple it in the back and so when you get done here again if I would have actually had this staple in place that would have looked a little bit better but that's that's the finished edge and you can see if I'd actually stapled it down it would look like this this being the side which the velvet comes down to about here the bottom piece runs all the way around the, the edge so again just uh, Real briefly, the velvet gets laid face down, a couple inches up, tack strip goes on top, gauge block is to mark it, or to position it at three and a half inches, three and a half inches, this gets driven with staples through into the frame all the way along, velvet is then wrapped around tack strip holds a nice tight edge there, makes it gives you a nice perfectly straight good looking line. Then this side, same thing, I'll try to pick this up and tuck that under so it looks a little more realistic. Okay. This comes along gauge block used to make that so we're exactly at three and a half inches so gauge staple gauge is just staple work all the way down there once you've got on there this then wraps around a little sawdust on the velvet there but that'll brush off okay this then again you have to do a little bit of flipping the screen back and forth this will get wrapped around, 
and just a nice tight uh, folded edge there. If it's all stapled down, you can fold it up nice and tight, and it'll look uh, it'll look perfect. So when you end up, you end up with a nice, nice tight joint like that. Everything's smooth and nice, perfect straight edges. It'll look great. Um, one other detail that you may have a question when you're coming along and you're stapling the tack strip down. The tack strip comes in three foot length, so at some point you're going to get to oops, where you have to put a joint in the tack strip. And that is simple to do, just as one piece ends and the next piece begins. And I've lost my gauge block here somewhere, probably under the screen. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm coming along. Make sure you put a staple right in the end of this piece, then just butt the next piece up to it nice and tight. Make sure this inside edge is exactly flush and put a staple right here just so both sides of the joint are held securely with a staple and then just continue on. And you'll have, to have, you'll have a couple of joints on the bottom and uh, a couple on the side. Anyway, hopefully that uh, clarifies things and makes that a little bit clearer.